Well, today I uh, installed the in-whales on the gunnels here. I'll show you in a minute. I didn't film it because it's kind of long and boring and tedious. It took me a while to do it because i got to climb in and out of the boat 50 times. And, uh, you know, you don't want to watch that crap. So what I did was I, uh, I had to shape these uh, in-whales to match the curve of the gunnel because if I just put them on there straight, they'd bend the gunnel. And we don't want to do that, so that took a little screwing around. I made a template out of cardboard first, and then I uh, cut them out on a bandsaw, sanded it to the line, and installed them. So what I did was I drew holes, or drilled holes, I mean, and uh, put screws in there, and then I filled in the screw holes with these plugs here, which are epoxied in place. Uh, that's the deal. Now I got the uh, in whales up in the bow section. They're about half done. Now these are more curvy than back here and then are further aft. So I put these cuts in there every so often, about every two inches or so, so I could bend them into that shape there. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera here, but there's quite a curve there. So uh, that's a deal with that. So later on now, I'll be finishing these off, and I started to put uh, in the bow here, what I have is, that's the, the bottom of the locker up there that's gonna actually hold the 24 volt battery that's gonna run the trolling motor, which of course is gonna be mounted up on here someplace. These other two by fours that are sitting here, that's where the, uh, the forward sole is going to mount, and that's where you'll stand on that to fish when you're up in the bow. And that's as far as I got. I am uh, waiting on some material to finish the doors for the back end here. Uh, we've got to see which way the, we have to see which way the grain runs on this plug before I trim it off all the way. So I cut it up a little high to find out. This one runs pretty straight across, so. Trim it down there. There we go. That's how you do that. I got the in whale pretty much done all the way around the whole perimeter here except for way up here in the bow. There's a couple of different methods you can use to fix this last area up here. But the method that I like to use the most is kind of like this. Just like that. Today's June 6th, D-Day. Uh, I haven't filmed in a while. I've been busy doing just little bits here and there. I run out of uh, pieces and parts and whatnot, and uh, I had to wait for, to order new ones. And I wound up working just a few minutes here and a few minutes there, doing just a little bit of things, trying to work around the things that I didn't have. I have them now, but uh, I... Uh, I wired up some things, you can't see it here, but in the back, all the stuff for the, for the cranking battery and the house battery and all the other junk that goes with it. I have most of that wired up. I don't have the batteries yet. I'm holding off on buying those because I don't want the warranty to start on them until I get this boat ready to be up and running. But anyway, that's another story. But anyway, uh, I got most of the stuff in the bow all done. It isn't finished, but it's it's mostly uh, done and I'm working on the top now as you can see uh, all of that is put together with mortise and tenon construction today I'll be putting the sides on the on the top uh, I'll be putting the sides on there the windows will be cut into that the sides will be made out of 3 8 plywood 
the windows will open, they'll slide open sideways. I found a company in Vancouver, BC that makes those. And those pieces of plywood on the front there, that's of course where the windshield's going to be. I have to cut those out too, the cutouts for the windows. And there's also going to be a door. I've made the door that goes in the center section there, but I don't have all the hinges. I'm still waiting on a couple of those uh, hinges to get here so I can mount the door. Um, I have to do that before I put this, the top on because there'll be an eyebrow in the front and the top and I, the door will swing open at an angle and I don't want that door to hit the top so I've got to have the door in place first before I design the top and uh, that's really about it something else I've done here is I've put these drain holes one on port and one on starboard on the side of the hull let me get you a better view here hard to see but you can it's right there there's one on the other side and what that's for is any water that rains down or splashes down on the deck inside here this forward deck <clears throat> has to have a place to go so the water can run out of these drain holes here it's a small thing but it's kind of important especially if you're out in a storm or something it gets kind of rough out in the big water sometimes and here's a view of my windshield from the from the front here still kind of boxy looking I've got to uh, the top that I put on there the lid is going to be uh, I'm going to round it off and give it a little bit of shape and hopefully it'll make it look uh, like it's not so homemade anyway that's the goal we'll see what happens now here's a shot of my wiring from uh, inside the stern here what I've done is I've divided this up into two parts. This is uh, this first panel here is all for the cranking battery, and of course that's a common a common ground bus here. I got a positive bus and a ground bus. Uh, this is a battery combiner. The switch here, it's kind of the newer technology from the old battery switch deal here, and. Uh, uh, it's a long story, but I'll shorten it up here. This switch works in conjunction with this here. This is an automatic uh, current relay. And what that does is it controls charging for both the house and the cranking battery. And it delivers power where it's needed, when it's needed. So it's the same thing as the old battery switch, except it switches itself automatically. So the operator here doesn't have to do anything at all about it. It just does everything it needs to do all by itself with the exception of if you go to start your boat one time and the cranking battery is dead then you turn this switch to combine where it says combine on there and then you can start your your motor with the, the house battery once that starts and then your engine starts to charge the battery you put it back to on and now this current relay uh, regulates which charging voltage or current goes to which battery. Behind here, down in here, that's all the wiring for the house battery. I got up my fuses over here, and here's again, a, this is a bus. It's a both positive and negative bus on this particular one here. That feeds all my other things. There'll be another wire that runs up to the the, uh, the, the driver's seat where all the other switches and whatnot are going to be but that's uh, coming later so uh, that's just a shot of all this crap I've been doing for the last couple of weeks and that's as far as I got I tried to design all this stuff so there'd be easy access in here like for instance here in this other corner I have my my fuel filter, fuel and water separator in the fuel filter and the maintenance that's going to be done on my washdown pump here and all I got to do is open these doors and just it's going to be real easy real easy to get at things to do maintenance in here because you know I'm old and fat and getting lazy and uh, the easier it is to access things and do maintenance the more maintenance you're going to do
I don't have to stand on my head to do any kind of weird things. And these batteries are wired up in such a way that all I got to do is open the doors and slide them out. And they'll be wide out, right out in the open. So, uh, you know, maintenance on the batteries would be a cinch. And the other thing I did, I don't know if I showed you this before, I can't remember. But I built a stairway here so I can get up and in and out of this boat as I got to climb in this boat many, many times every day. And I got tired of screwing around with that ladder, so. So, that's that. And for now, I guess that's all I'm going to put on this video. It's getting a little long. And uh, I want to pick away at this cabin here uh, today. I'll see how far I get. And that's it.